Welcome to your Go Market Update Charts of the Day for today, Monday, the 5th of February 2024. It's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. We saw a good day again on Friday on the surface with big tech earnings and strong, strong jobs data pushing markets to be higher. However, if we look a little closer, we can see that it was really big tech that pulled the market higher with only 30. 5% of the NYSC moving to the upside, two thirds moving to the downside. So the advances versus decliners number possibly hid a few truths about where we actually are. We saw a really strong USD, which puts down on the small cap index, the Russell 2000. Over the weekend, Jerome Powell, in an interview of 60 Minutes, suggested rate cuts may be cautiously implemented. The word wary was used. And has been taken on by markets this morning in Asia. Earnings are in focus, of course, this week with around about 50% of the S&P 500 still due to report. At this stage, we've got 72% beating EPS with 65% with a revenue beat, which is both impressive and better than was originally expected. US futures are a little soft in early Asian trading. We're seeing Asian markets mixed despite that strong lead on Friday. Nikkei was the only index to the upside in early trading. The ASX was down in excess of a percent, but is off those lows, about 0.8% to the downside. Materials are significantly underperformer, only healthcare and IT stocks are sectors in the green at this stage of the 11 sectors on the ASX. European futures are pointed to a slightly softer open this afternoon, but markets look quite choppy in Asia so far today as we see some repositioning going on. As we've already indicated, the US dollar index was strong on Friday, seeing a little follow through in Asia. It's now back over the 200 EMA, which it hasn't been at this level for about six weeks. Dollar consequently dropped from 2050 down to 2030. Copper had its third straight day of losses and all was soft again to close at lows on Friday for the week. It is, however, holding up in Asia okay so far today as is copper, which is seeing some buying in the last hour. Bitcoin didn't move very much during the week. It is trading mid-range and earnings are going to continue to dominate sentiment this week. In terms of data today, we've already had some services PMI data coming out of China, which was around about last month's figure. Later on, we've got German trade balance and PMI data coming out of the UK, the Eurozone and the US later on today. European PPI is also due. Bit of a quiet week overall on data, so it will be those earnings that dictate sentiment going forward, what would suggest. A couple of charts that caught our eye this morning. Uh, SQ2 or Block Inc uh, has bounced off this 200 MA. It has been a, a little choppy around this 104 level, but we think this could be setting up very nicely for a move back up towards that 118 level. Worthwhile being patient on this. 117 is a price target on this, which would be a very healthy 11% upside, but very, very worthwhile being patient to make sure that we've breached that 105. FX is hard to call, but you can see we're trading in a short term range on the US yen. We have tested a level to the downside at 148.32. If we do breach 148.32, we could see ourselves down at 148 pretty quickly and maybe even down towards this 147.70. So that's one to watch for sure over the coming hours. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.